Bike won't start. Bike won't start. Bike won't start. Bike won't start. Some of you guys watched my video last week about how my SV was dead. And when you push the starter, it does nothing. There's no clicking noise, no buzzing noise, nothing. It's not the same as when you have low battery where everything's buzzing. Um, I've already gone ahead and fixed it thanks to you guys on the interwebs suggestions that you've given me on things to actually check uh, So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about how I did it So maybe this will help a few of you guys out the first thing I did was rule out the battery It was not the battery the battery was fine. I was getting like 12.7 volts on a resting charge um, So to me it tells me the battery is pretty good pretty good pretty good so the next thing I did that you guys suggested was to check all the switches. Now, what I mean by switches is it could be the kickstand switch. It could be actually this guy here. The ignition switch is actually bad. Or it could be the clutch switch. Um, the first thing I decided to check out was the clutch switch because it was the easiest one to do. So let me go ahead and show you guys what that actually looks like on an SV. So follow me here. Here's the clutch. And if you go under here, here's the actual switch right there. That is the clutch switch. Um, what I did was unplug it. Of course, I've already fixed it. But so you guys don't know, Suzuki's, you have to hold in the clutch to actually start the bike. A lot of bikes don't really have that feature anymore, but Suzuki still does. You can never do a one finger start on your SV just because Suzuki keeps continuously putting this in here up until like I don't know the last year model 2015 or so Suzuki still have this feature so here's the actual switch and you guys can kind of see that I've I've cut it the way I was actually able to verify that was the clutch switch that was giving me problems was I did two different types of tests one was I took the clutch I held it in and I wiggled it around in different angles like this while I held the starter button and lo and behold, as I was doing this, the bike started up, no problems. But if I just did a regular hold in, it would not start. It had to be at a specific angle. And that told me something that was wonky here. Step two of what I actually did to confirm that was one, unplug this actual harness that was the clutch switch from the actual bike. And then take a paper clip like this one that doesn't have coating, I'm sorry, this is the only one I could find at the moment, but you strip off the coating, and then in back here, you see these terminals right here. You basically plug the paper clip in here, and that bridges the actual circuit. And then, if when I hit the actual starter button, the bike completely started with this thing completely disconnected, no clutch actually needed. I just had the paper clip plugged in the back, boom. So that really confirms that it's a problem with the actual clutch switch. Now, you guys saw that I actually cut it off, so these are the two leads that are remaining. These two leads are actually coming out of here. This actual wiring harness right there. And what I'm going to do now is to actually bypass the clutch switch altogether. Um, I want to mention this real quick before anyone does this on their SV or their any other bike that they have. I only know for SVs that are 1999 to 2002, I believe, are the only ones that you can really do this without having to do any extra work. And what I mean by this is these bikes are carbed, so there's no actual computer controlling the fuel delivery system. If you do this on a fuel injected SV, what happens is the bike gets stuck in uh, a fueling map that's made for actually warming up your bike. So it's dumping in a lot, a lot of fuel until it comes up to operating temperature. But for carbureted SV650s, you don't have to worry about that because there is no fuel map. Here's the fix right here, guys. Once this is done, and I know I should probably do this a better way, all you have to do is go ahead and twist these cables together. Once you've twisted those cables together, that completely bypasses the need for having to actually use the clutch safety switch. So all you do is go like this, turn on the ignition, and the bike starts off. 
Now the proper way to probably do this is to solder these two wires together and use shrink wrap. Now since we're not soldering anything, what you want to do is just take some electrical tape and wrap these guys off. Um, so that's all I have guys. That's how I actually started my SV. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Uh, but until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.